Wood high pressure petrol washer, 3000 psi. Uh, instructions to set it up and what you can expect in the box. Should have an instruction manual. The handle section. A high pressure hose. A detergent hose and filter. The main engine section. Two wheels. The trigger section and lance. A hose and filter, brackets for your hoses on the side of the arm section, your wheel spindles, and your star washers to connect the wheels to the spindles. Assemble is the wheel spindles. They have a push button, push this in, slide it into the frame, and underneath the frame here is a hole. Push that in until it locates, and you'll hear it click and you'll see it come out of the hole. Do this on both sides. slide straight onto the spindle. The wheels are fixed on with a star washer. This should simply push onto the axle and the teeth in here will grip the axle and will keep it very sturdy on there. What I'd recommend is if you have a socket, give this a little tap with a mallet and the socket will spread the blow evenly to make sure they go on flush. the process with the other side. And your wheels are sturdy. The handle section has very similar sprung clips to the wheel axles. And these simply slide in. And locating the two holes in the main body. The next section to assemble are the hooks for the lance and the high pressure hose. These come with a couple of nuts and bolts and they just feed directly into the holes on the frame. And you have the bolts that just attach on the other side. Same on this side, just locate through the body and do the nuts up at the back. Next you have your gun and your high pressure hose assembly. The lance section just screws onto the gun section and then you have a plastic collar that comes to meet it there. The high pressure hose, you have two connectors on each side of the hose. The one connector will just screw into the lance section.
make sure this is very tight. The other side of the high pressure hose has a male connector with a rubber O-ring. This O-ring needs to be seated inside the pump section here. Now you will have to push it quite tight to make sure that the rubber O-ring section seats properly. And when it's seated properly, you'll be able to tighten the plastic collar up to ensure a very tight fit. most important steps before using your pressure washer is to fit this breather cap to the pump. You'll find in the top of the pump is a black stopper. This stops the oil in the pump coming out in transit. But we need to take this apart, to take this out, using the Allen key provided. screws back in its place. The two main sections of the pressure washer are the engine, which is this section here, and the water pump, which is this section here. The water pump already has oil in, and it, no more oil needs to add in at this stage. The engine doesn't have any oil or fuel in. The fuel is just standard, clean, new, unleaded fuel and is added here. You will see there's a fuel filter inside there. This will stop any debris from getting inside the fuel tank. The engine needs oil adding here. It takes 15W30 engine oil. You'll see a dipstick on the bottom of the oil cap, but when adding the oil, just make sure it comes up just to where the threaded section is inside the hole there. To attach a hose pipe from the mains water supply, simply use this connection down here. It's a standard hose lock connection and that pushes on until you hear a click. To draw water from a container, Take the clear hose from the packaging and add the filter to the bottom of it. This section goes into the water container. The other section has another hose lock on it. And again, that just fits to the water supply. If you'd like to mix a detergent with your water, there's a length of clear plastic hose with a black filter on the bottom. The filter goes into the detergent bottle and the clear hose just fits on top of the pump to this brass section here. Make sure that's firmly on there. The pressure of the water as it's going through the pump will draw this the detergent up through the hose automatically. To start the pressure washer, there's an on-off switch on the right-hand side here. Make sure this is in the on position. You have three levers here. You have the fuel. Make sure the fuel is over to the right. The choke needs to be over to the left and the engine speed depicted by a rabbit and a tortoise needs to be on the slower section which is the tortoise so over to this side. To start the pressure washer there is a pull cord here so if you put your foot on the frame to give it a bit of support and just pull this way. As soon as the pressure washer is starting as it is working you can turn the choke off and the engine speed up. This will make the engine tick over at a much more comfortable speed. A couple of things to bear in mind when starting the engine. Uh, if you're finding it hard to pull, uh, there's a good chance that pressure is built up in the pump. You can release the pressure by just pulling the trigger. That will release the pressure in the system and make the pull start much easier to pull. Sometimes when the water is attached to the mains, it can be difficult to start 
as it's like trying to start a car in gear. So if it's hard to start there, disconnect the water, start the engine and reconnect the water uh, if you're having difficulties outside. The water pump has a pressure release valve on the right hand side. This will release the pressure in the pump uh, if too much pressure builds up. It's imperative that you don't leave the engine running for longer than five minutes without pulling the trigger on the handle section. Otherwise pressure will build up in the pump and it can cause damage to the pump. The pressure washer comes with different nozzles depending on the required spray. Uh, the red nozzle for example is the narrow spray. These are just fitted with a quick release, pull the collar back, push the nozzle in and release the collar.